Welcome to Module 33 of this series of lectures on statistical quality assurance and statistical process improvement. We're going to take a bit of a uh, theoretical bent here for a couple of modules uh, and think about uh, what one would do to try to quantify uh, the likely behavior of a particular process monitoring uh, scheme and we're going to talk about something called the average run length concept. Uh, we're going to make use of a little elementary probability uh, and get from that uh, an understanding of what one can expect uh, a process monitoring scheme to do. So the general question is this, how does one quantify the likely performance of a process monitoring scheme? And process monitoring scheme like a simple Stewart control chart. Uh, one needs to uh, quantify what a scheme would do because one needs to think, well, if I use all four Western Electric rules, uh, how does that change the way that my process monitoring scheme operates? Qualitatively, it seems like it ought to increase the likelihood of false alarms, that is, declaring that there's something changed in a process when in fact there's nothing been changed. Uh, but in order to do that quantitatively, one really needs uh, some additional concepts. And so we're going to talk about this so-called average run length notion. Uh, if I invent a random variable that keeps track of the period at which a process monitoring scheme, say a control chart, first issues a signal, says, oh, there's a point out of control limits, or there are uh, two out of three points outside of two sigma limits on the right side, on, on, the, on one side of center, that kind of a thing, uh, then we're going to call that variable the uh, run length variable. So if I if I start doing con short control charting and uh, every half an hour I, I, I plot an X bar and I see nothing uh, at uh, half hour one, nothing at half hour two, nothing at half hour three, but at half hour four uh, I get an X bar that plots outside of control limits, then I'd say was that T was four, the run length was four. The probability distribution or a probability distribution associated with T is called a run length distribution. Uh, and the, the mean value of that distribution is called, cleverly enough, an average run length. It is an average value of T. Uh, its expected value of T. Uh, we'll write here ARL is mu sub T. Uh, we could just as well write ARL is uh, capital E uh, of T. Uh, when one is setting up a process monitoring scheme, uh, it's desirable that uh, it produce a large average run length when the process is stable and at standard conditions. And it produce small average run lengths under uh, under other conditions. Uh, what one wants a process monitoring scheme to do is not bother one, not cause alarm uh, when everything is standard, uh, but to signal when something uh, happens and the process is no longer behaving at uh, standard conditions. Evaluating average run lengths is usually not elementary. Uh, it involves some uh, almost graduate level probability in some cases. Uh, but there is one circumstance in which we can explicitly calculate ARLs uh, and begin to understand what they measure uh, and get some insight into uh, how short control charts uh, behave what uh, what we can expect from them. And that's a situation where 
all one is doing is looking for a single point outside of control limits. Uh, there's no Western Electric rules uh, beyond the, the the first one, and that's so that's a description of, of how the monitoring is done. Uh, we need a probability description of the physical process, and that is going to be that uh, the physical process is stable, physically stable, and thereby uh, one thinks of the values that are going to get plotted as random draws from some fixed distribution. Uh, X bars, random draws from some uh, distribution of X bars. If we use the notation Q is the probability that any one of those uh, values plots outside of control limits, in particular that the first one plots outside of control limits, then what we're doing is Q number one is outside limits with probability little q. Q number two is outside of limits with, prob with probability little q. Q number three is outside of control limits with probability little q. If one's looking for the first time that there's a Q outside of control limits, that variable T is a geometric variable. And the uh, simple probability taught in engineering statistics says that uh, you know how to get the mean value of a geometric variable. It's just one over a success probability. So that the average run length is the reciprocal of uh, this this quantity Q that is a probability that any one of these uh, plotted values is plots outside control limits. Uh, so here's an example. Uh, we're going to compute some average run lengths for Schuert X bar charts, beginning with uh, the average run length for an X bar chart when uh, the process mean and the process standard deviation are at standard values. So let's think about an X-bar chart based on sample size of 5, uh, where the process mean is some number mu and the process standard deviation is some number sigma. Uh, and in fact, those are the standard values that are used to set up control limits. And now we're going to do a computation, first of all, supposing that uh, the process is stable at those standard values. So that uh, X bar has mean mu and indeed has standard deviation uh, sigma over root 5. Uh, and so uh, we're, we're in business to uh, compute as if well, we're going to compute supposing that uh, there's been no process change away from the parameters used to set the chart up. What is Q then? Well, little q is the probability that X bar plots outside of limits. How does it plot outside of limits? Well, it's less than the lower control limit or it's bigger than the upper control limit. And as I say, we're going to compute supposing all is well. That means that the mean for X bar is mu and the standard deviation for X bar is sigma over root 5. Uh, if process output is normal, then X bars are normal, uh, even if uh, the process is not normal. Uh, usually it's an adequate approximation to act as if X bar were normal. Uh, if I have a normal variable, I subtract its mean and I divide by its standard deviation. I make something that is standard normal. So uh, under this set of model assumptions, x bar minus mu over sigma over root 5 is standard normal. That means that the thing that I call little q, uh, 
the probability that X bar is below the lower up, lower control limit or above the upper control limit is the one minus the probability that it's between control limits. And this event is algebraically equivalent to having X bar uh, between X bar, a standardized version of X bar be between minus three and three. Uh, if you just uh, on this event uh, subtract through mu uh, divide through by sigma over root 5 this is what you've got and this guy in the middle here is a standard normal variable that means that Q is 1 minus the probability that a standard normal variable is between minus 3 and 3 and it's a uh, probability lookup to determine that that means that little q is 0 0.0027 the four digits. That means that the ARL is the reciprocal of that or is 370. Now the interpretation of this is that when everything is all, all okay, the process is stable, parameters are at their standard values, uh, and I'm control charting X bars, then an X bar chart will uh, signal, will, listen, will, uh, will issue an alarm, in this case a false alarm, on average only once every 370 plotted points. Uh, so that gives me some uh, comfort that making use of a Schuert control chart is, for averages is not going to uh, have me chasing ghosts. Uh, it's going to be reasonably rare uh, that it issues a false alarm. 